Hey there, Poké fans! Today I'm bringing you an OU battle against Minum S09, who I met through the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder. It's an OU battle using a uh, my newly revamped Amber team. You've already seen the first like one minute of this battle. Um, if you were watching my channel a few days ago uh, and saw this really weird random thing that I uploaded, it was to show off the fact that listen, what do you hear? You hear my own music and not the game music. And this is black and white too because look at that background. I uh, look at the fact that I'm that we both have uh, Tornado's Theory forms. Anyway, yeah, so this is super exciting. But anyway, let's get down to the battle. Um, it's not an action replay code. It's a hack. You actually have to hack your ROM. Um, so don't ask me for an action replay code. There is none. Anyway, I've taken out his Glagger first. I'm not sure why I left it in. I guess he was hoping for a miss. But you know, banking on a 20% chance of something happening, that just doesn't seem wise. Anyway, uh, here I'm going to switch out from his tentacle. I guess he really wanted the rocks up. Maybe he thought he could take it. I don't know. But anyway, now I'm out into my tentacle. Uh, as he's out into... I mean, sorry, I'm out into Barney Cuddle. My favorite thorn as he's out into his tentacle. Um, he sets up a round of toxic spikes. I don't care. I've only got, what? Uh, okay, so I've got three Pokemon who actually... Um, are affected by toxic spikes, but it's it really does not affect my team too overly much. Um, so he uh, he uh, I go ahead and set up rocks. I was glad that the skull didn't get the burn because it would be nice to be able to power whip him a little bit later. Um, and I really I'm only going to try to set up one round of entry hazards. I was really lucky that he didn't set out Zatu right there, but I didn't think he was going to. Um, so he sets up a second layer of toxic spikes. I go for the power whip here. And, um, spoiler alert, I actually get really lucky. None of my power whips missed, and I think I get off three of them. And the odds of that are actually pretty low. I think the odds of two power, uh, two power whips in a row hitting is 49%. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. Anyway, go and go for another power whip. I hit, and that is awesome. His tentacruel is now down to very low HP. I was hoping for the KO, but with Rain Dish, Rain Dish kind of screwed me over. That's really okay. Um, here I consider going for the Gyro Ball, uh, because it's got 100% accuracy, but mm, I'm not sure at that range of health, considering he does resist it. I think I do have a little bit of attack investment, but I'm not sure whether it would KO. Anyway, uh, gonna probably want to switch out here. Um, yeah, gonna want to switch out here against the scissor because I don't want to take a superpower. I'm expecting a superpower, so that's why I go into my Tornadus Therian form named uh, 1210 um, because Quantal Quetzal wouldn't fit. Um, sorry, if you don't know what that means, then you don't know what that means. If you know what that means, you're like, oh my god, Antar, you're such a geek! So anyway, he's gonna go out into Politoed here. I think I just U turn. Yeah, I just U turn out to swap. I just got out what he was gonna do. Uh, and so I'm gonna go straight out and gonna go out to someone who can deal with Politoed, namely Rotom. Now, the thing about my Rotom is it's got, so it's four moves, it's it's leftover set, it's not a Scarf set. Um, and it's four moves are Bolt Switch, um, Hydro Pump, uh, what are the two? Hidden Power Fire, uh, because, you know, Hidden Power Fire is kind of needed on this set. And, uh, the last move is Pain Split. Not having Thunderbolt kind of screws me over in a lot of situations like this. Um, so here he's going to go for Hidden Power. I'm hoping it's Hidden Power Grass and he didn't predict the switch. And indeed it's Hidden Power Grass. Uh, hidden Power Fire wouldn't do much anyway considering it would be really stupid to run Hidden Power Fire on a Polytoad. That actually might have been Hidden Power Electric. Um, but anyway, now he's going to go for Focus Blast. I'm pretty sure I can take that because he's not... I was actually expecting him to be Scarf Respect, but, um, well, probably not Scarf because then he would have outspent my uh, Rotom. But yeah, go for the Gyroball, get the KO, or did I get, go for the Power Up? I don't remember. The point is, I get the KO, and that is freaking awesome! Now, out is going to come Tornadus. Uh, I've got no one on my team to take a Hurricane. It sucks, but it's true. I've got no one, I've got a, I gotta sack someone. So it's going to be Barnacuddle. Barnacuddle did so good! Oh, who's it going to do Barnacuddle? I, I love Anyway, so anyway, now I'm going to go out into my Imposter Ditto. Imposter Ditto, by the way, is a dick. Um, so I see that he's Life Orb, so I know I outspeed, and now guess who's got Scarfed Hurricanes coming out? That's right, a me. Now, I do only have five because it is Imposter Ditto. Um, by the way, my Imposter Ditto is does not have flawless stats at all. Um, it does have a calm nature and decent stats, but I really, really, really am hoping... Um, I need to beat black and white to an English so that I can actually, um, I can actually try to get an imposter ditto legitimately through RNG, uh, I mean, it's already legitimate, but get a, uh, RNG, um, imposter ditto, because no one's offering them on trade threads. I found one person, and I was like, hey, please, please, I can really use your imposter ditto, and apparently he's 
completely knock him down. So anyway, uh, yeah, I don't. He's he's got nothing to do with Imposter Ditto either. So I am sweeping his team with his own Tornadus Therian. That's kind of awesome. Um, unfortunately, though, I I can't take him out. Um, it was close, but not quite enough. But I take, I've gone through enough of his team that I'm pretty happy. And he takes himself out with the Light Orb Recoil. So I am considering that. Uh, that I'm considering that awesome. So now I'm going to send Foopaloop, uh, since this is his last Pokemon. Um, I am not sure whether I outspeed his Zatu, but I know that he's got nothing that can really do much damage to me, so I just go for the Icicle Crash, um, and I'm going to take out his Zatu easily. Banded, um, Banded Mammal Swine with Thick Fat is awesome! God, I love this team. Uh, it's been doing pretty well, a lot better than my previous iteration, so I hope you enjoyed this battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.